Okay, so we are uh, will uh, start the uh, concept of two-way DFA, uh, two-way finite automata. Two-way means uh, so far we have seen uh, given a finite automata, say DFA, NFA. Suppose you have given a DFA, which is Q sigma delta Q zero f, and the Q is set of all set of all states. And this is the input alphabet, all are finite. And this is the transition rule for DFA, it is if it is DFA, transition rule is uh, like this uh, delta is a function from Q cross sigma to Q. So, given a state, uh, suppose we are at state Q. And suppose we are reading a input alphabet A, we will go to state P. So, delta of say Q comma A is equal to P. This is for uh, deterministic move, this is for DFA, but in case of NFA, the move is non deterministic, we cannot define, we cannot have a definite uh, P. I mean, there is option, I mean, the, this, this move is not deterministic, it is a non deterministic, that is why. And this we know is the starting state or the initial state, and this is the set of all final state, final states, and there may be one or more or many final states, but starting state is one. Our automata, our finite automata is starting from a one starting state that is, that is represented by q 0. So, so far what we are uh, uh, how to read a string suppose we have a string which is a consist of the input alphabets. So, this is we what we do we suppose, uh, suppose w is a 1 a 2 a 1 a 2 a n n length string. So, how to read this? So, we use the extended uh, delta to read this. So, what we do? We put this string in a tape a 1, a 2, a 3 like this and we start our automata at q 0 state and our tape is heading like this and every time we are uh, moving the tape right wise. So, that is only one way it is the movement. So, tape is moving tape head, tape head is moving only one direction right side. So, first it will read the uh, delta of, so suppose with a 1 it is go to some q 2 or q 1 with again it will move to here like this. So, again with a 2 from q 2 we are going to q 3 like this. So, finally, with a n with a n, if we are reaching to some of the state say f and if f is happened to be a final state, then we say this is the acceptance string. So, this we know about the finite automata. So, this the tape is moving only one direction. So, right side it has no two way moving. So, tape head header this is the header of the tape. So, header of the tape we are reading that string left to right like this. So, tape is at each point of time tape is moving from uh, uh, left to right, okay. but in case of two way automata tape can move left also. So, it can suppose we are here okay. and our present state is say uh, our present state is say q and we are here. Now, with this input a, to a 3, we can go to either the tape can go point to here or point to there and it will move to some state p that is ok, but the tape header can go to right side or left side. So, there is an option there. So, that that is the sense it is called two way. So, we will formally define that two way finite automata. This is which is something different so far we have seen. So, let us just uh, recap. So, we have seen the DFA, which is a uh, 
a control unit EFA has a control unit that read the tape from left to right tape uh, that read the tape from uh, read, uh, read the tape and it is moving one square and it is moving one square right at each move. Each move. So, that means, uh, given the tape, we have given this a 1, a 2, this is the string say a i and suppose at some point of time tape header is pointing there. So, suppose at that point we are at state q, now it will go to, so suppose delta of q comma a i is say p. So, it will go to state p and the header will move to the next a i plus 1 next input of the uh, of the string. Okay. So, it is moving uh, one square right at each time. So, there is no move uh, in the left side which is there in the two way automata. And then we have seen the NFA, NFA is basically the it is a it is also a finite automata with one side move and all the difference is the did non deterministic the move in move is non deterministic. So, from q with the same input we have many options. So, this this move is non deterministic and then we have seen the epsilon NFA, epsilon NFA is the tape head moves uh, without uh, reading the input symbol. So, without reading the input symbol we can move the uh, uh, we can change the state. So, that is the uh, epsilon NFA. Tape is pointing, a header is pointing somewhere, but we are not reading that symbol. Without reading the symbol, the state can move, our automata can, I mean. Now, the two way DFA is, two way uh, finite automata is, basically we have movement both the side two way finite automata. So, in this case the tape head the tape head moves left as well as right. So, that is the that is called two way finite automata. So, we have a option to go to left or right. Okay. So, it is uh, increased little more power than the, 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 the conventional finite automata which is, but eventually it will accept the I mean it will give the same regular set there is no I mean in terms of language there is no benefit of having this. So, eventually it will accept the, the regular sets only. So, let us define the two way deterministic finite automata. So, this is called 2 DFA, 2 way deterministic finite automata. So, it is basically m tuple a uh, uh, 5 tuple again q uh, delta q 0 f. We know all this symbol q is the set of finite set of uh, finite number of states possible all possible state which is finite and the sigma is the input alphabet and delta is the transition rule, but here we have a option to move uh, left or right the tape head next step and q 0 is the starting state and f is the set of final states. So, those are okay. only things. So, these are same these this 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 these are same as earlier only difference is here this is different. So, this is now a function to uh, it will go to another state 
but the uh, movement so tf head movement will be either left or right so that we have to point out l or r okay so suppose we are uh, we are just here ei and this is a e i plus 1, e i minus 1 and e i plus 1 suppose it is pointing here. So, suppose at that point of time we are at state q. Now, here suppose delta of q e i. So, now this is a uh, output will be a state along with a the sign I mean movement of the taper tap head it will either go to left side or right side. So, if it is p comma r p is a state. So, it will go to p and the tap head will point to the next it is going to the right, but if it is uh, but if it is uh, p comma l p comma l. So, it will go to p, but tap head will point to this okay, that is the difference. So, tap head for the next move will point to this. So, again you have to scan this. So, it is like uh, movement of the head. So, we may eventually sometimes we may uh, uh, we may put into the infinite loop. So, that is why when we talk about Turing machine whether Turing machine will hold or not. So, depending on the movement over here we may eventually end up with a uh, infinite loop. We go then I come back go come back like this. Okay. So, this is the only difference. So, this is the only difference in the function transition transition function or transition rule. Okay. So, in that case how we uh, define the language of this two way DFA. So, you have given a two way DFA. So, for one way DFA we know how to for one way DFA we this is our DFA q 0 f. Now, for one way DFA what we did we extend this delta to delta hat that means, which is accepting the string and then we start with q 0 and if w we read and if it is end up with some f or q f which is belongs to a then we say this is the set of uh, I mean this is the language of this m set of all w such that this happened. Okay. Now, uh, now we are in 2 a d f a. So, for 2 a d f a uh, extending this delta hat is insufficient I mean it is not uh, I mean we because we are moving left to right again. So, in that case what we will do we will take help of what is called instantaneous description or I D. So, it is basically a snapshot of the process then in the next move the snapshot of the process again like this. So, we will define the I D or instantaneous description of the finite automata. So, we have given a two way D F A. m which is q sigma delta q 0 f and we know here delta is q cross l comma r. So, our tape head can move to the left to right left or right. Okay, so, m is the 2 a d f a. So, I D or instantaneous description is basically of the form is coming from this q sigma star. Okay. So, uh, basically it is of the form w q x. So, w is w x are coming from w x are coming from uh, this is w x are coming from this uh, sigma these are all string and q is the state the that point of time state the starting I mean it is not starting state starting state is q 0. 
So, at some point of time this is the snapshot of the system of the automata of the finite machine. So, like for initially what you have? We have given a tape, we have given a string say w, w is say a 1, a 2 say a n and initially our uh, automata is at state q 0. So, this is the initial id q 0 a 1, a 2 a n, this is the initial id of the uh, this is the i 0 we can say, this is the initial id of the uh, m because initially we are at q 0, this is nothing but a snapshot, we are taking a photo of the uh, present situation of this uh, system of this machine finite machine. So, uh, at the starting we are at q 0, our tape this is the position of to containing the tape position and our header is here. Okay. So, header will be pointing always the right side of this q 0 that is the convention will follow. Now, if it is say uh, for example, uh, after this suppose we start with q 0 and suppose our delta is like this. So, a 1 and say it is uh, going to q 1 and it is right say. So, what will happen? So, it is going to basically we can say this is going to. So, next, so what is the next position? So, now the next position is we are at q 1 and our tape is moving right. So, tape is here. So, we will write this a 1 then q q 1, now we are at q 1 because our state changed to q 1 and next we have to read a 2 a 3 a n this is the way. So, this we can see this is the current snapshot or current id of the machine and this we will say by this, this is going here like this symbol. So, this is the initial instant in initial uh, instant id and this is the next id if the our delta is like this. Okay. Now, suppose in the next time if it is going to q 2 and if the right then it will go to again it will go to say uh, it will go to a 1 a 2 say q 2 a 3 like this. Now, suppose so again we have to read the symbol which is right to q 2. Now, suppose now so now we are going to read q 3 now now suppose if delta of q 2 q 3 is q 3, but if it is left if the header is pointing to the left then where, where it will go then then uh, then the header will be pointing left that means we have to read here. So, that means this state will be pointing here and the state is q 3. So, this will now go to like this a 1 then q 3 a 2 a 3 like this. So, because that is the next state is next symbol is q 2 which we are going to this is the this is the, the wherever we are putting the state the next symbol is the pointing the uh, tape head. So, that is the convention we will follow. So, this is going there because next we are going to read again q q 2 since it is a left moved over here. So, this is the way we, we uh, take the snapshot of the uh, finite uh, machine and we go to the from one state to one uh, state to another state like this. Okay. So, now when we say uh, yeah, so when we say we are accepting a string So, so, so if we so this this star means if we apply this recursively then it will give us a star. So, that means if uh, one position suppose a 1. So, initially it is q 0 a 1 a 2 a n say. Now, suppose next step will going to say a 1 q 2 a 2 a 3 a n. Suppose in next step we are going to a 1, a 2, q 3, a 3 like this. Suppose in next step our tape is 
pointing to the left side. So, that means instead of, so after reading this we have to read this. So, that means and suppose it is going to Q 4. So, Q 1 Q 4 our current state, but we have to uh, this Q 2 will be the next symbol to be read. I mean header is pointing to there because it is a left move uh, A 2 A 3 like this. So, now this means this is this I D is going to this I D by uh, more than one operation of the transition. So, that is the star. So, that means we can say q 0 a 1 a 2 a n is going to a 1 q 4 a 2 a 3 a n. So, this is the star. So, by this using the star we can just define uh, the language accepted by this. So, when we say a language accepted by this if eventually it will reach to a final state and all string has been uh, explored. That means, if eventually we can reach to like this. So, suppose we are starting with a 1 a 2 suppose we put this in a tape a 1 a 2 a n and we keep on reading we start with q 0 we read the tape we will go to some state some state and tape will move here and there like this. Now, suppose at the end we reach to the sum of the state f and if it is happened to be a final state and if we exhaust of reading all these symbols, then and if we exhaust to reading all these symbols means then, then what is the position there at the end? At the end it will be a 1, a 2, a n and f, f will be pointing here that is all. So, that means, if q 0 a 1 a n if it is going to this where f is is a final state, then we show a this string is accepted by this 2 a d f a. So, this set we are this set is our language. So, we can formally define this. So, language of this name is nothing but set of all w such that q 0 w will end up with a f for some state f belongs to for some state. I mean there should be at least I mean I, I, for some state f belongs to this. So, that, that means, we start with q 0 and eventually we will reach to f and we exhaust the uh, uh, reading the tape. Okay. So, tape header is more just uh, reach to the end of the string. So, then we stop and we say this string is accepted by this uh, d f. Now, we will take an example. So, let us take a quick example. Suppose, we have given this 2 a DFA, we have two input alphabet 0 and 1 and these are the state q 1, q 2, q 0, q 1, q 2 and this is the starting state and this, this is a final state. Okay. Now, delta we have to define. So, q is basically q 0, q 1, q 2 and sigma is 0, 1 and f is q 1 and delta we have to define. So, delta is basically a function from q cross sigma to q cross l r. Okay. So, if we add q 0, then with the input 0, we will go to q 0 and it will be r and this is q 1 and it will be r again and with q 1 with 0 input is go to q 1 it will be r q 2 it will be l 
and same q0 r I mean with q2 r and with q2 we are at q l. Okay. So, this is the transition rule and here we are indicating the, uh, the next position of the tape after reaching to that state. Now, if we want to see, if we want to read a string say w which is 1 0 1 0 0 1, then how to read? So, we start with q 0 and we put the w over here, okay, this is the initial idea of the initial position, we are at q 0 and our tape is, tape is this 1 0 1. 0, 0, 1, this is the tape and we are header is pointing here. So, if the header is pointing here, so we have to read the delta of q 0 1. So, delta of q 0 1 is basically q 1 l. So, l means header will go here. So, this is basically 1 we have exhaust. So, this will be now q 1 and header is pointing this. So, this is no one. Okay. So, now next. So, now we are at now we are at q 1, we are at q 1 and we are reading the 0. So, we are at q 1, we are reading 0. So, we will go to again q 1 and header will be moved to right. So, header will move here and we will again go to q 1. So, that will be 1 0 q 1 again 1 0 0 1. So, like this. So, now we are at q 1, now it is 1. So, now header will move to the left. So, this is this is the we are at q 1. So, delta of q 1, now we are reading 1. So, this is again q 2 l. So, l means header will come back here. So, this will be basically this is going to q 2, but we have to read this. So, 1 q 2 0 1 1 0 I sorry 0 0 0 1 like this. So, if you continue like this we will end up with this 1 0 1 0 0 1 q 1. So, you have to do little more step and eventually we will reach to this that is all. So, that that means we are reaching to this position means this string is accepted. So, this string belongs to L of G. So, this is one example where uh, yeah, where this uh, this is this is belongs to the language of this two A automata. Thank you very much.